guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another collection video. So this time I decided that I wanted to sit down and show you all of my Taylor Swift CDs. Now I know over the years it's kind of crazy because I can remember when CDs were so stocked in even places like Target, but as the years pass it's becoming more scarce that CDs are sold because of digital sales. So. I feel like in some way CDs are so nostalgic, but I will always be the girl who goes and runs and gets the Taylor Swift album that has just come out at Target on release day because nothing will ever match that feeling. From zooming into Target, going into the uh, CD section, or sometimes they have, you know, like a stand, and physically picking up the new Taylor album. Like, there's no better feeling than that. Um, my first Taylor album release day was Speak Now back in 2010 and it's just become such a fun tradition to do that on release day. And so yeah, I wanted to go ahead in era order, show you every single CD that I have of Taylor's and yeah you guys, it's never to brag, I just personally love seeing collections. Last weekend I filmed a video and posted it and I did a vinyl collection and you guys really seemed to love it so I thought maybe doing a CD collection would be fun too. So here we go. All of my first Taylor CDs, like the ones that I first bought when the album was released. So. Since we're going in era order, I will be sure this was my first copy of her debut album. And I can tell because she's broken. She's been played a lot. This was the CD that I used to take my mom's huge CD player, take it into the bathroom, and blast her debut album while I was taking the longest bath possible in elementary school. Because I, it was just like my downtime. I wanted to learn every single word. I wanted to make little hand gestures. I'd be like, you're beautiful, every little piece, love. And like, I didn't know at the time, like every little piece meant like different than peace. However, core memory, me doing that. And anyways, the debut album is so important to me because I can remember that was the first time that I really felt like connected with music. That was the first time that I ever felt like, oh my God, I feel so understood. Like. I'm in such one-sided friendships where I am honestly so happy to be playing with them at recess or, you know, involved in their life, but I don't feel that back and like, I don't know. Debut Taylor really became my best friend and she still is. So then I also have a second copy of the debut album. I have the Taylor Swift karaoke version of her debut album and then this is actually pretty cool. Now, we do not love Big Machine Records at all, as the story goes. However, I posted on Vine one time that it was my birthday, and they actually sent me a deluxe limited edition Taylor Swift debut album. Now, this was really cool. It's, it's really cool looking. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like almost like holographic. Um, the difference between this one is it has the video DVDs, so it has the Tim McGraw music video, her first Grand Ole Opry performance, Yahoo music performance with Tim McGraw, Teardrops on my guitar music video, behind the scenes of Teardrops, our song video, our song behind the scenes, um, A Place in This World, which was a GAC shortcut series, and Taylor's home movie and Taylor's performance on the Tim McGraw and Faith Hill tour in 2007 which is crazy oh my gosh and even has Taylor's first call first phone call to Tim McGraw so I have never opened this and I just I want to keep it in mint condition but like I said we do not love big machine records but still so happy that I was able to get that in my collection so this next one is Beautiful Eyes, in which is Taylor's EP, and I am begging her to please re-record this. Um, I, I cannot not bear having the updated version of this with Taylor's rights to it. Um, like Beautiful Eyes, I heart question mark. Please, Taylor Swift, you see this? Please, please re-record it. Do not leave her out. This is what it looks like on the inside. I actually got this at Walmart, I believe, for like $5. And this is what it looks like. They are more rare to find now, I wish, because I used to see them in Walmart 
all the time. But here's a little poster it came with. The lyrics fold out and it's the poster. And that is what she looks like on the inside. But I heart question mark. Can you imagine I heart question mark in Taylor's vocals now? Like I think I would collapse. I am not ready for debut Taylor's version or Taylor Swift Taylor's version because I'm just gonna be weeping. I'm just gonna be sobbing, okay? Like that was Taylor's first album. That was Taylor's first like, oh my God, I'm doing this. I'm making an album. And the fact that we're gonna get that re-recorded. I'm I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Then I have Taylor Swift Fearless Karaoke. Before I forget, let me pull from my my first bin. This was my first Taylor CD. This was Fearless. And I remember I got this because oh my gosh. This is so nostalgic. This is what it looks like on the inside, but um my mom got this for me because I was going to sing Love Story in the talent show and she wanted me to be able to play it over and over on her CD player so I could memorize it and, you know, just just learn it more than I did and just play it in general. And then I remember I got this for the talent show and then could not stop playing it. So this one is very near and dear to my heart. Okay. Like I said, I have the Taylor Swift Fearless Karaoke. Then I have Taylor Swift Fearless Platinum Edition. And funny story about this one. The CD is missing. I have two copies, so. Um, funny story about this one. I was in Target with my mom. And I saw that it was Fearless Platinum Edition and I had heard that it had came out because when I tell you my mom would let me have like a little bit of computer time when I'd get home from school um, and the first thing that I would do is just learn new stuff about Taylor. I would you know YouTube her and figure out like different things about her, watch different performances, you know oh fun fact about Taylor Swift like I very quickly became the Taylor Swift girl. So in 2009 Taylor drops the platinum edition of fearless and it had new songs on it like are you kidding me so i was in target and i said to my mom mom i think i lost my fearless cd um can i get the platinum edition of this and i had a gift card and there was no reason for her to say no but i was just always a kid that like asked i was never just like put it in the cart i i always asked um but anyways, so I, I asked her and she's like, yeah, absolutely get it with your gift card. So I got it with my gift card. I knew exactly where my fearless copy was like that did not ever go out of my sight. Um, but yeah, I was like, hmm, how do I fandangle my way into getting this fearless platinum edition? So there we go. And I remember it became my absolute favorite. Untouchable has always been one of like the most beautiful songs I've ever heard in my opinion so okay anyways then I have the entertainer redefined and this was actually for her CMA consideration and this was also sent to me by Big Machine Records um, and it has a copy of fearless inside and then it has like all her stats entertainer of the year and she was nominated for album of the year, female vocalist of the year, and video of the year for love story. So if you want to pause and like read, you're more than welcome to. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And then it has that picture on the outside. Then in 2009, Taylor also dropped her holiday collection. So this is her holiday collection CD. This is what it looks like on the inside. Taylor Swift also please re-record this. Thank you so much. And it has songs like Last Christmas, Christmas is When You Were Mine, which is an original, Santa Baby, Silent Night, Christmas Must Be Something More, which is also an original, and White Christmas. Moving on, we have Fearless Taylor's version, which is so incredibly special. And I do have an opened one in my first bin. 
<laughs> I'm just that girl. I'm extra. It's just because it's so special to me to like walk in and get that first album that I do in fact have them separate. Anyways, I have another copy of Fearless Taylor's version and then I got this one off her site which is Fearless Taylor's version but it's signed. Insane. In freaking sane. Now we're moving on to Speak Now. <laughs> This was my first copy of Speak Now that I got on Speak Now release day, October 25th, 2010, which is crazy. Now, my mom took me to Target to get this, and I remember they had a shirt. They had the the uh, just original cover, which was the purple one, and it didn't have the deluxe tracks on it. And they had this copy, which is the deluxe, and it has our... If this was a movie, Superman, and then a couple acoustic tracks, and it had the um, behind the scenes of the Mind music video and the Mind music video. So, my mom was like, okay, you can either get like the, the normal CD, the purple one, and the shirt, or you can get the deluxe CD. And I was like, okay. So, I picked this. Then... <laughs> I have the, of course, just the normal copy of Speak Now. Why is there a reputation inside here? Hello. Okay. Well, that's special. I have another copy of just the normal edition of Speak Now with her purple dress. And then I do have another copy of the Speak Now um, deluxe edition from Target. Now this one I got thrifting one time. I think I found it for $1.50 and I was like, I'm not leaving her. It's Taylor. Come on now. Then I have the Taylor Swift Wonderstruck singer, songwriter, artist, entertainer. This is another for your CMA consideration. So it looks like this and it slides out and it has a deluxe of Speak Now. And then on the back it says Speak Now, Vote Now. This was also sent to me by Big Machine Records. Then inside it just has her CMA award nominations and her CMA considerations. And it has like all her stats up here, like 1.3 million tickets sold on the Speak Now World Tour. Insane. Three consecutive number one hit albums, songs like, just things like that. I have Speak Now Karaoke. Then I have the Speak Now World Tour Live. I'm pretty sure I got this from Best Buy, um, but it's the Speak Now World Tour live CD and DVD, which is so freaking cool. Please do this with the Eras Tour and um, please and thank you. So now we're going to move on to Red, and this one I'm holding, I just pulled from my, uh, my first bin. And then of course I also have in my first bin, <laughs> I'm so extra. My Red Taylor's version. I have another copy of Red. And then I also have the single CD of We're Never Ever Getting Back Together. That was sold on her site, by the way. I have Red Karaoke. I have Red Deluxe Edition that has The Moment I Knew, Come Back Be Here, Girl at Home, and then the original recording of Red, Treacherous, and the acoustic of State of Grace. And it, oop, whoops. Um, it looks like this on the outside and it is from Target. And then I got this at the merch booth. The first time I ever saw the Red Tour. So they didn't have any tour books at the merch stand yet because I think it was like the third or fourth day of the Red Tour when I went. So instead they were selling signed copies of Red. And so my dad was sweet enough to get this for me at the merch booth and he like surprised me with it because I had gone over like, it was literally like across the little hallway and I was snapping pictures of her wardrobe outfits. So. Um, he snuck and got this for me real quick and he was like, oh, look what I got you. So, and I screamed. I screamed. From hmm, Big Machine Records, I also got the red Zine pack. I believe this was sold at Walmart. However, I got mine from Big Machine Records. It looks like this and it has a sample of Wonderstruck. And then on the inside, it has like a bunch of like pictures of Taylor and things like that, like some little tweets and stuff like that. And then, 
oh my gosh I forgot it has like a little postcard and it says I can't wait for so many things but mostly I can't wait to see you and then it has little guitar picks as well so that is what the red zine pack looks like and then we're gonna move on oh wait no we're not um, then I have my red Taylor's version signed CD from her website and now we move on to 1989 I have the shake it off single CD this is off her website and I remember it was in the pre-order package back in 2014 I have the Taylor Swift 1989 karaoke I have, of course, in my little bin, my first copy of 1989 that I got on October 27th, 2014. And then exactly nine years later, I was lucky enough to get 1989 Taylor's version on October 27th, 2023. That was my first. Then I have 1989 Deluxe and I have so many of those and so many copies of 1989 because they had different Polaroids of them. First four here, this is the Crystal Skies CD. This is the Sunrise Boulevard CD. This is the Rose Garden edition of the CD. And this is the Aquamarine CD. Now these four are off her website and the difference between the ones off her website, they had photos from the vault. I did an unboxing video, so if you guys want to see all of the little pictures that it came with, definitely check that video out. I'll link it down below. And so then, of course, because I'm me, I got the other copies of just 1989 Taylor's version. And these were the ones from Target, so they came with little, um, like, different posters. And they had handwritten lyrics on them so of course I had to get those too so like this and then it had the little lyrics and again if you want to see those in detail um, I will link that video down below so I got these on release day from Target and so yeah and then of course this one is the one that I got on release day um, but yeah, it was in my first bin because, yeah. Oh my gosh, I forgot to show you my Speak Now Taylor's version CD. How freaking dare I? That was so mean of me. Um, it was just sitting separate in my bin um, because, yeah, this was the one that I bought on Speak Now Taylor's version release day. Oh my God, I feel so horrible as I literally look like the walking embodiment of Speak Now. How mean of me. <laughs> She's so important to me. Then, of course, I have Reputation. <laughs> and this was my first one. And then I have two more copies of this. And let me tell you, I think my dad has a couple copies of them, too. Um, and I had so many copies of them because uh, you would get a code in it for boosts for the Reputation Stadium Tour. So best believe Rachel was getting those boosts mm -hmm, in every single way she could. I think we should bring that system back. So then we move on to the Lover era. I have the Me single CD off her website. And then of course, you guys know what I'm gonna say. This is the one that I bought on Lover release day. This is the first one that I bought. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys this too. I got this off her website. Now this is crazy because they were supposed to be $5 Me single CDs, which I was so excited about, right? Well, I think there was a delay or something. And anyways, they upgraded them to being lover signed CDs. And we were all like, uh, yeah, that's fine. So I paid $5 for this and I do have it framed. Then also on lover release day, I got the deluxe albums, which were her journals, which is so freaking cool. And they also had the voice memos for I got forgot you existed and lover but i have all four editions of those and it just has like different um like journal entries of taylor's and things like that which is so cool and then it also has a spot for us to write in and then it also just has like fun little pictures of taylor so i did of course get all four of those 
and then I have another copy of Lover and that one is so important I also said this in my vinyl video but Lover is so important because Lover was the first time Taylor ever like put out an album and she owned it like that is just so important peace and love to Lover honestly she's an icon so then moving on to folklore I have this one from when it was put into stores so this was the first time that taylor it was so weird it was so weird not being able to go to the store on album release day to get this album it came out a little bit later in stores because she surprise dropped it but it was so strange like on album release day and of course we were in a pandemic too um not going to target it was just so strange so when it was put into stores i was the first one that i got and then i have the cardigan cd and then i have the one from target and then i have i think this is ooh betty's garden edition i think don't count me on that and then i got the signed folklore cd from my local record store thank you to my mom she was having a chill day they posted that they had them i was not able to go so my mom went and she was having a full self-care day like face mask everything at home and she ran out she was like i don't care what i look like and my mom's very much like um she always like whenever <laughs> whenever she steps foot out the door like she is like fully put together um so for her to run out on her self-care day and not care what she looked like was real <laughs> so real then evermore came along and again evermore also was a surprise drop so i did not get this on the exact day that it was released but you best believe i was parked in front of target the minute i heard that it was going to be hitting target i was there i was there the day of then I have another cop another copy of Evermore. However, I don't know where the CD went. That's charming. Um, anyways, then I also have a signed copy of Evermore, which is also from my local record store. And then you guys know the drill. <laughs> Oh my god, here's my first copy of Midnight's. The first one that I got my hands on was the one at Target. So this is the purple one from Target. Now listen here. Please don't call me crazy. You're going to. <clears throat> These are all my Midnight CDs. When I tell you I adore Midnight's with everything in my being. Mm-hmm. Everything in my being. Okay. So the first four, the first set, if you will, um, I ordered off Taylor's site because she dropped signed vinyl editions and then she dropped signed CD editions. So I opted to get the CDs. I have the signed Blood Moon edition of Midnight's. I'm, oh, I hate when it sounds like it's just gonna break. But this is what it looks like. And I love how they're all clocks. Like they're just so, aesthetically pleasing and then i have the moonstone edition that's also signed and then i have the mahogany that is also signed and then i have the jade green that's signed oh okay this one broke i remember um but it is okay the autograph was fine and that is what i cared about and then of course i got them on midnight's release day as well so i have the jade green i have the blood moon mahogany and moonstone and then of course like i showed you the first one that i got was from target which was the lavender edition i think that's what it was called was it yeah so anyways i have two full sets of midnight cds and then i didn't want to leave her out because this is the only taylor cassette i have but i was so hyped up on midnight's release day that at my local record store i was like you know what i'm fully 
buying this right now. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> I, uh, I bought the Midnight's cassette. I sure did. It's really, really fun because on Midnight's release night, my local record store opened at midnight for us to get the album and I had a vinyl on hold so that's what I bought then and then my friend Callie and I went to Target the next morning and got them so and then we went back to my local record store because I'd rather support like my local record store the opposed to you know getting all of the four CDs that I could get at my local record store at Target so we went back there so that was really fun last but not least I have the Midnight's Late Night Edition CD. This is the one that has the um, late night tracks. It has um, like The Great War, Bigger Than the Whole Sky, High Infidelity, Would Have, Could Have, Should Have, You're Losing Me, which I will never forget when this dropped. It dropped in MetLife and I wasn't going until Sunday and I was leaving Friday for New York to like fly up there. And I remember everybody was like waiting for somebody to get their hands on You're Losing Me and we were all just like patiently waiting and when I tell you I was sitting there quite literally sitting on my bed just like waiting for my mom to come get me to um, bring me to the airport and I heard that I will never forget hearing I wouldn't marry me either and my jaw just genuinely hit the floor like so hard I like I don't think my jaw had hit the floor like a, that for a Taylor Swift lyric since the moment I heard Look What You Made Me Do for the first time in 2017. Like, I was like, oh, I'm about to have to get on a plane, huh? Like, I was so shook to my damn core. Anyways, so it includes You're Losing Me and it has a double sided poster. So I got two at MetLife. So, also, if you guys are curious, um, I did want to say they are starting to bring them into um, local record stores. I was actually able to get one for Emma for Christmas because they had one in my local record store. So definitely check yours out. So again, this is my first bin and I just wanted to show you guys briefly again. This is my first Taylor debut album, Fearless, Speak Now, Red. 1989, Reputation, Lover, Folklore, Evermore, Fearless Taylor's Version, Red Taylor's Version, Midnight, <laughs> Speak Now Taylor's Version, and 1989 Taylor's Version. So, yes, I know this is extra. However, like I said, it's just so meaningful to me to go and get them for the first time that I've always been this way. Like even when I moved, I put them in a separate box to make sure that like they didn't get like in my just other CDs because I don't know, I've always had them separated. So I was like, I am not stopping this now. And so I bought that cute little bin and that's where all my little first Taylor CDs are for her releases. So I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video entertained you in some way. Um, let me know what your favorite Taylor CD is that you have. And this was never to brag. I just personally love looking at other people's collections. I've been collecting Taylor merch for years. So it's really fun for me to see, you know, what people have in their collections. So I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video entertained you in some way. And I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, you in the next one. I just knocked all my Taylor CDs over. I'm gonna go fix that. Bye guys.